It's not an exaggeration to say the Pizza Express holds a special place in the hearts of British diners. For over half a century, it's seen off its competitors, providing an authentic Italian-style pizza experience. For young couples on their first date or exhausted tourists desperate for some decent, familiar upmarket nosh, Pizza Express has been the go-to place to eat, often the best restaurant in town. Now, believe it or not, it was the very first pizza chain in the country. It opened its doors in 1965, the year I was born, on... Wardour Street in Soho, London. The founder, Peter Boiso, imported a real Italian pizza oven and thus began the transformation of the UK's dining out experience at a time when restaurant food in this country was dire. So how have we got to this position where we're worried for its future and what does it mean for our high streets? 08000 288 291, email vine at uk. Tell us your Pizza Express story. We're going to speak to somebody who met their wife there in just a moment. Kate, Kate Hardcastle joins us, first retail consumer expert who's been following the story and also known as the customer whisperer. What's going on? It's very interesting. There's a lot going on, actually. And we've got a business here that, in its day-to-day presence, is doing okay. It's surviving. But it's got a legacy debt. And this is not dissimilar to the Thomas Cook situation last week and other middle market problems for brands that just can't survive in a bland vanilla existence. That debt catches up with you. And if you don't innovate and keep moving the business on and keep up with changing consumer demands, you find yourself in increased challenges. So we have a business that is in the middle market and is really, really troubled with it. it's the amount of competition that it's facing, uh, the fact that diners want different experiences. And on top of that, it's trying to meet the commitment to this debt. And Thomas Cook is going to become a symbol of a way of dying as a business, isn't it? Which is that you just serve the people you've always served in the way you've always served them and you collapse quite right. If you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. But that's changing with consumers who are more informed, more information, just like they became their own travel agents and started booking their own holidays. They are aware of all of the opportunities for eating out. So you've got more takeaways being delivered in in new and different ways. You've got uh, fine dining at home now if you want to create subscription model food models. You've got um, opportunities where we've got independent restaurants that are coming and bringing more authentic foods in. It's really competitive out there. Pizza Express have been using discount models a lot. There are things they're great at. They're very good family restaurants. They're very family-oriented. People do enjoy going there because they might not know the town or a place and they go there as a a reassurance of getting the same quality every single time. But that's not enough to keep you going. And one could look at their business decisions over the years and think, actually, what they've done is what a lot of businesses have done. They've been oversaturating the brand too many places. They've just made it very vanilla. Nothing wrong with that, but there's nothing that great with it either. Is there a service thing going on? them I don't know I've had good and bad I wouldn't know you know and, and that's something that comes into it and businesses get tight on money one of the things they start to do is take away staff members customer service starts to dip and then people say well actually it's not that great an offer and I'm not getting the service I want yeah and, and not least Jeremy as well they've actually brought the ranges out into supermarkets so you can be- pick up a lot of their favourites in store the pizzas the dough balls and take them and make them at home well, that's that, going to saturate too I was going to say is that suicidal doing that saying you, there's another place you can buy our pizzas and, and they're cheaper there not completely but it's not going to help if then the restaurant experience isn't with authenticity isn't perhaps with live music isn't with something that makes the experience added benefit so if you're just going to basically go in and receive those items make, made at home or get them in a restaurant and there's nothing too much to differentiate it then it becomes a question of why why wouldn't we go somewhere else? Why don't we save that money and just buy them as take-ins? Thank you very much, D. Kate Hardcastle, retail and consumer expert known as the customer whisperer.